Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe and Tell. I'm Joe, and today is a special day because we get to play a new game. So I'm sure many of you are aware that Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp came out yesterday, Friday, and uh, we have it in hand. I'm very excited to play it, try it out. Uh, it's a game I've been wanting to play for a long time, and uh, I think ever since Advance Wars DS Dual Strike came out, which got all the rave reviews, uh, I've wanted to play and just never got around to it. And so this should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what it's all about. So let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's still going. I guess we got to load uh, down. I don't know what this is all about. Uh, was not expecting this so you know while we wait why don't you guys hit that like and subscribe button oh well we're still waiting so yeah go ahead and like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff oh, there we go check that out man it looks like a cartoon there's a giant wrench <laughs> andy i thought he was punching a beehive at first I love the style of the artwork. Max. Oh, and who's this? Bam! Sammy. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. So I'm guessing this is just all intro play. That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. I love the, the cartoon animation. Pretty exciting. All right, let's get started. Nell, welcome to Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. You must be Joe. It's an honor to meet you. My name's Nell. Hi, Nell. I'm a CO in the Orange Star Army. Say, is this your first time playing Advance Wars? Uh, yes, no, yes, we'll say yes. Splendid. Let me give you a quick rundown of a few modes. Alright, versus is for multiplayer battles. Alright. In fact, you can play with up to four players on one Nintendo Switch console. Cool. If each participant has their own console and a copy of Advance Wars 1 2 Reboot Camp, you can play wirelessly as well. There's also the main gameplay mode, campaign. There's a story of wars. Story of Wars World will unfold as you battle against rival commanding officers. I'll tell you about some of the other models soon, or modes soon. For now, I'd like to start with your basic training. In each training mission, I'll walk you through the game rules step by step and even offer some strategic advice. Make sure you're playing or <laughs> paying close attention. For now, I'd like you to select campaign from the main menu. See you there. All right, fair enough. Campaign, let's, the war starts here. Let's move out. Uh, Advance Wars or Advance Wars 2? Oh, it's Black Hole Rising. So it's not even Advance Wars Dual Strike. That's a bummer, uh, but we'll do the first one. See what it's all about. Okay, campaign advance wars completion zero percent new game confirm. Uh, casual. Which difficulty setting would you prefer? Please note you can change difficulty at any time. Select file. So for players just starting out, or for experienced players looking for a challenge. Let's go with classic. See if it can make me real mad. Field training. Troop orders. Okay, now. We'll go over the basic of troop movement and attack controls in this training mission. Okay. Let's get trained. Lesson one. Troop orders very slowly. Oh, look at this. How cute. Day one. All right, let's get started. Her mouth doesn't move. 
We'll begin with a simple training mission to get you comfortable with the basics of movement and combat. Great. Take a look at these two orange infantry units. They are both under your command. Okay. The blue unit here is an enemy unit. Easy enough. Oh, this marker here. This is your cursor. Use L to move the cursor around. You'll also use this to give your unit commands, see, see unit information, and more. For now, move your cursor to the infantry unit I've circled here, and then press A to select it. Okay. Uh, I'm using... Uh, what's going on? My controller is not working? Oh, I had to select A first. Okay. And A. When you select a unit, the area around it becomes highlighted. That This area shows you the selected unit's range of movement. Now order your unit to approach the enemy. Please move the cursor here and press A. Got it. What if I put it somewhere else? <laughs> That's not quite it. I don't understand. Move the space I've marked for you and then press A, please. Uh, let's go in the mountains. Go up here. <laughs> okay. Fine. Wait. Uh, after a unit moves, this command menu will appear. The only thing this unit can do now is wait. So select wait and then press A to confirm your command. If it's the only thing I can do, why do I have to select it? It seems odd, but whatever. Did you see what happened to your unit? No, I was not paying attention. Its color turned darker. Okay, I see that. That means that this unit can't receive any more orders this turn. But don't worry, you'll be able to use it again on your next turn. Now select your next infantry unit. I've circled it for you here. I'm really glad that she's circling these because I don't know if I would have been able to find them without <laughs> without the circle. Uh, okay, see how the enemy unit space has a red highlight? That means it's within attack range. Yeah, buddy. Since infantry are direct combat units, you need to be adjacent to your target to attack. Please move your unit next to the enemy so we can fire away. Okay, I don't know what that little icon is. Explosive, maybe? That's... that's you see the space I marked <laughs> right now? I need you to move your infantry unit there so you can give the order to fire. To them. I just like messing with her, actually. Okay, let's go. Uh, great job. Just select fire from the menu and target the enemy. What? Let's just chat. I want to wait. Uh, she's all nervous. <laughs> Selecting wait will end your unit's turn. Will they select fire in to end it? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, she will not let me do it. All right. Fire. Can I fire at anything else? Damage 49%. Infantry, plane, life. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Oh, this is cool. Okay, well, I attack them. Why'd they attack me? Doesn't seem fair. Nice work. You did some damage to your enemy. You took some counter fire. Okay. Damage too. But since you initiated the attack, your units fared much better. I see. When you've finished giving orders to your units, it's time to end your turn. To do this, first press A on an empty space to display the map menu. Okay. The map menu provides all of the information and choices you need in order to enhance your playing experience. For now, I need you to select up and down arrow, circle arrow <laughs> thingy, in turn to continue with the lesson. Go ahead and do that now. Uh, the CO means ex menu explains the special abilities of COs in play. It's fascinating, yes, but not what we need to do right now. Please select it. Okay. Options. In the options menu, you can adjust audio. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have this lady so mad at us. <laughs> For being in the military, I'm not very good at following orders. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, now it's his turn. So we're watching him. Okay, here they come. So they're attacking us first. Which they did more damage because they attacked first, but we still took some damage off of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's your turn again, but hang on a second. Do you see those numbers on the units? Those indicate each unit's health points or HP, which means all well, hit points. 
All units begin with 10 HP, but as they take damage in battle, their HP will decrease. When a unit reaches zero HP, it'll vanish from the screen. Notice that your unit currently has more HP than the enemy unit does. The unit that attacks first generally has the advantage. That's why you should pick your battles carefully and always try to fire first. Units also lose some of their firepower when they get damaged, so it's better to fire on the enemy with this undamaged unit. Let's select yours now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I was wondering why there were multiples in this. Uh, Orange Star Troop. Commander, did you know there is an easier way to give attack orders? I did not. If I may, I'd like to show you. By all means. See the highlighted enemy unit? It's within attack range, so we can use quick fire on it. Try selecting the enemy unit directly. Okay, so instead of having to move, I can go straight to him. And then, oh, there we go. That was easy. See ya! He <laughs> went flying off the screen. <laughs> Not sure that's what happens when you get shot, but well, maybe. Guess it does in the movies. Well done. Since you also defeated the enemy unit, notice that you didn't even take any damage. I call that a win-win. As do I now. As do I. Oh, she's so happy. Congratulations. You have completed your very first field training lesson. I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. And I just noticed that the playing field looks like it's a cardboard uh cut out or something that's pretty cool are you ready for the next lesson you know i am lesson complete seems pretty basic pretty straightforward simple enough i'm sure it's gonna get a lot harder as we go uh okay cities and terrain now this next lesson will teach you how to capture cities and to use terrain for defensive cover. Cool. Okay. So yeah, there's more to it. Lesson two, cities and ter terrain. L, hmm, looks like the enemy has deployed a mech or mechanized infantry unit. These units are tougher and can even deal serious damage to vehicles. So a mech is not a, like a mechanical suit. It's just a guy with a bazooka. Okay. Lucky for you, I planned for this and gave you a mech of your own to practice with. Great. Infantry may not be able to defeat a mech unit in direct combat, so you'll want to use the terrain for defensive cover. Okay. I think we'll start by teaching you how to capture cities. Let's select this infantry unit. Okay. Neutral cities are colored gray, but they change to match your army color, army's color when you capture them. Capturing cities is vital to your success on the battlefield, so please attempt to capture and control as many cities as you can. Sure enough, to begin, please move your unit onto the city. Right here onto the city. <laughs> Actually, I want to show you how to capture a city. <laughs> All right. Uh, please select capture. Uh, you know what I'm going to do. Wait. <laughs> I like that. Uh. Okay, what? The city is now partially captured. It'll take a bit more time to capture it completely. Only your foot soldiers, meaning infantry and mech units, can capture a city. Each turn a unit spends capturing a city lowers the city's capture number by that unit's current HP. Okay. Be careful not to move a unit that's in the process of capturing a city or you'll have to restart capturing it all over again. The same is true if the capturing unit loses all of its HP before the city is fully captured. Do your best to protect units that are trying to secure new bases as they are valuable, or I'm sorry, vulnerable during that process. Let's select this unit next. Okay, I'll stop. Great, now move that un the unit here and begin to capture this city too. Do I really want to do that with my mech? I would think I would want him to be on 
the offense so he could fire. Capture. Nice work. All right, thank you. Now select this infantry unit. Now fire on that infantry unit. What? Oh, right in front of me. Hey, want to hear a tip? Sure. You can actually speed things up by holding RZ. Give it a try when you fire on that enemy. RZ. Okay, I will do that. So we're gonna fire and then. Woo! Oh, okay. We. So we're we're zooming through the animation. Excellent. Hmm. Okay, now select this infantry unit. Okay. Notice anything different? Uh, why, yes, there's a large mountain in my way. The movement cost is double in mountains, but such terrain offers defensive advantages that compensate for the extra movement cost. Movement cost, so I guess I can't move as far. You'll understand better once you fire on the enemy. Go ahead, engage the enemy and fire. Sure. Oh, look at that. He's on a cliff. That's cool. Oh, he took less damage because he was on the cliff. This enemy unit took less damage than the first one you attacked, didn't it? That's because of another terrain feature called defensive cover. All right. Defensive cover in the mountains is the number shown here. A four in this case. The defensive cover on the planes is a one. The higher the defensive cover rating is, the less damage the defending unit will take. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, Nell. Great. I knew you'd be a quick study. Now, please end your turn by pressing A on an empty space and selecting End Turn from the map menu. All right, Nell. You say so. In turn. Day one. Oh, now they're going to uh, counterattack. What's he going to do? Oh, he's firing on us. Uh-oh. Here they come. Oh, I thought I had a bazooka. Where'd my bazooka go? And I'm capturing the city. I don't know. Man, they got, they're doing a lot of stuff to us here, huh? All right, it looks like they're finished. Day two. Now, mech units really have a punch, don't they? Luckily, even a neutral city still provides defensive cover. Another thing. Another thing to keep in mind is that movement costs differ between unit types. Did you notice the mech unit could move only two spaces, but wasn't slowed by the mountain terrain? Whenever you need information like this, just place the cursor over whatever you want to learn about and press ZR. Easy peasy. This works for terrain features as well as for all unit types. Always remember, knowledge is power. It's a good idea to order your units to capture at the start of your turn that way, you can be sure you won't forget to give the order. Let's select this unit. Okay. A completely healthy trooper can capture a city in two turns, so have them stay put and get it done. Capture. There we go. Yay! I wonder what that does for us. Great work. This city, this is your city now. Notice how it changes color to match your army. Yes, I did. Now select this wounded mech unit. Okay. Because this unit took damage in the last round, it'll take a bit longer to capture this city. Keep that in mind as you defend your troops. Okay. Since your unit was hurt, it can lower the capture number only by its current HP amount, leaving it vulnerable to another attack. This is getting complicated quickly. <laughs> Let's attack the, this enemy mech unit instead. Okay, so instead... <laughs> Excuse me. So instead of capturing the city this round, we're going to take out or attack the mech unit. Fire. I'm a little disappointed that they're not holding bazookas. 
Like... And I'm in a much better defensive position because... The cities offer more defense than the planes, so I took less damage. Why don't you finish the training while I prepare the next lesson? All you have to do is defeat all enemy units. Okay. Um, what about capturing... I'm going to take this guy out, I think. Or try to, anyway. Oh, really? Attack from above. Like, uh... I'm going to... Can I attack this guy? Yeah. Woo! This is... Okay, and then I'm going to get this... Oh, I think I already did this guy's turn. Okay, well, in turn. Let's see what they do to us. We have a lot more defense than they do. <laughs> this is one little guy out there. Poor guy. See you, buddy. Oh, you punk. So he's going to come attack us, too. Oh, no. Did he end? He end That's weird. Uh. Oh, now he's got the high ground, but it doesn't matter. See ya, buddy. <laughs> I love how they go flying off the screen. Uh, all right, you're going down, my friend. Nice. And I want to capture this other city. Oh, well, I guess that's not going to let us. I hope you have a better understanding of terrain defenses and capture techniques now. Yes, I do now. Focus on the strategy I've taught you so far. Use them well, and victory will be yours. I'm sure of it. It better be. <laughs> All right. We're... Looks like we have one more thing to do. Re repair and transport. This lesson will teach you everything else you need to know or need to succeed in combat. All right. It's cool. There's, there looks like there's going to be streets. Lesson three. Repair and transport. Oh, check that out. Look at all the tanks. Looks like the enemy has surprised our forces and damaged these tank units. But don't worry, I'll teach you how to ev even the odds. How do we know they damage them? Oh, because the numbers are lower? We need to repair... We'll need to repair them in order to have any hope of winning here. This unit is badly damaged and out of ammo, so let's patch it up. Okay. Will you select this tank unit first, please? Uh, sure. <laughs> first things first. Yeah, fine. Okay. Man, he can move a long distance. To repair a unit, just move it to a ci any city or building that you control, even your HQ. Well, which one of these is my HQ? Okay. <clears throat> this is only the only city in range, so please move it here. I'll write through my own soldiers. Okay, wait. Great job. Thank you. This tank unit will now recover 2 HP for every turn it remains here. All right. That tank won't have a chance to recover if we can't stop the enemy tanks from reaching it. Oh dear. And your other tanks aren't in great shape either. Oh dear. Oh, she's so upset. Is she is she biting her nails or is she just I don't know what she's doing. Oh, now she snapped out of it. Luckily, there is a way to regain HP and block the bridge at the same time. I'll show you how. First, let's select this tank unit. Okay. 
Now move the tank to this spot in front of the bridge so that only one unit can reach the reach and attack it at a time. Since enemy units can't move over opposing units, we can use the tank to block this bridge. This tactic is called building a defensive wall. That tank won't last long in its current state, so select this other tank and I'll show you how to join them. Really? You can like, like, like Voltron? You can combine them? Great! Now if you move this tank directly into your other damage tank, they will be merged. Ooh, cool. Move your tank here and select join. Maybe they make Devastator. That would be awesome. <laughs> Aw, or they're just gonna hug. Oh, she's so happy. See, your tank is fully repaired. Excellent work. Okay, so my tank gets fully repaired, but then I'm a down a tank. When two units join, they combine their HP. Of course, now there's only one unit. I just said that. But that's sometimes better than two damaged ones. I know that two units may seem better than one strategically, but running around with low HP is very risky for most units. Also remember, damaged units deal less damage when attacking. Now your repaired single tank will be able to hold the bridge. Okay. And while that happens, your damage tank can be repaired. One more thing. When you join two units, it ends their turn. So make sure you anticipate that. I can see that you really, you're really starting to understand the strat strategies of war. I have just a few more things to teach you. It's great to see that we have an artillery unit, but there's a problem. Our artillery unit is out of ammo, and it's almost out of fuel too. Yikes. I guess that's indicated by the little icons above there. Yeah. That unit can't fire without ammo, and it can't move without fuel. In its current condition, it's practically useless. Luckily for us, we have some transport units available. Let me show you how to use them. These transport units are called Armored Personnel Carriers, or APC for short. Let's select this APC unit first. Okay. Now, to make the artillery unit usable, we need to move the APC adjacent to give it some supplies. Move the APC here and select the supply command. All right. There we go. And supply. Great job. Thank you. When you supply a unit, you'll fill its ammo and fuel to the maximum levels. Oh, that's good. You don't have to do them individually. This time we gave supplies to only one unit, but APC units can also provide supplies to any other adjacent units simultaneously. Oh, that's really nice. Don't forget, you can supply units by placing them in allied buildings where they'll also heal. However, transport units are best used when you're on the move. Now that the artillery unit is ready, let's go ahead and use it. Please select it now. Artillery, artillery are indirect fire units. That means that they can fire from a far distance without fear of counterfire. Artillery units can move and fire on the same turn, but the range of an artillery unit is two to three spaces. And wouldn't you know it, looks like we have a target within range. Go ahead and fire. Uh, is it this guy here, I guess? Yeah. Pew! Oh, here we go. Here's some tanks. Wait. Oh, we're on the other side now. Why are we on the... I was like, wait, why are they firing at us? Mm -hmm. we Capture placement... Or careful placement of indirect fire units is vital to winning. Battles. Try to keep an enemy units from engaging them directly and you will succeed. There are other ways to win too. See these buildings? They are headquarters for each army. We call them HQs for short creative. If you capture the enemy HQ, you'll instantly win the battle. Be careful though, the same rule applies if the enemy captures your HQ, so always make sure to keep it safe. Now it seems like the enemy wandered too far from their HQ and left us an opening. However, your mech unit won't reach it in time to capture it. That's where having a second APC gives us the edge. Let's select this mech unit and, what the heck is that icon? Load it into the APC. Okay. 
You can load a mech or infantry unit into a, any transport unit by moving them into the same space. Go ahead and move here and select load. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Again, if that's the only option, why do I have to select it? Great, you've loaded the mech unit inside a transport unit. Now it's ready to roll out. Let's select this loaded APC next. Got it? Using the APC to transport your troops will provide you with the extra distance you need. Try moving right next to that HQ. Okay. Perfect. You can wait here and the mech unit wouldn't take damage while inside the APC. Although the a if the APC happens to get destroyed, both units will be lost. But right now we want to capture the enemy HQ so please select drop from the menu. Now place the mech unit directly onto the enemy HQ. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now you have the, a healthy unit on your enemy's HQ. You can begin to capture the HQ on your next turn. Your mech unit is in place. Your tank has set up a defensive wall and your artillery is fully supplied. You're doing great. Just focus on capturing the HQ and protect that bridge in turn and finish up. This should be an easy victory for you. Well, yeah, you told me everything I needed to do. <laughs> uh, okay, in turn. Sure. Let's see what. Oh, they're gonna attack us. No! And attacking first really does some serious, uh, serious damage. What are they doing there? That seemed odd. Okay, we want to definitely capture this. Yep. Uh, this guy should be... Is he ready to go? I don't know. I'm going to attack this guy. Sweet! Get rid of him. Uh, and then I think that's all I probably need to do, yeah? I guess so. In turn. Oh, they're supplying up. Okay. It's weird that sometimes I'm on the right side of the screen. Uh-oh right side of the screen, and sometimes on the left side of the screen. Oh, they can cross the water? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to attack you. Didn't get them all, though. And I'm going to capture you. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like it. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, Nell. Your lessons are all complete now. You're ready to take on anything. Wars World can throw at you. It's a weird, weird name. Wars World. And just in time, too. I'm getting reports that enemy forces have invaded Orange Star. One last thing to remember. Keep an eye on your stats. But luck plays a small part in every battle. Keep this in mind. And I know you'll do us proud. I'll see you around. All right. This is pretty cool. A lot of little nuanced rules and things to consider when playing. All right, well done. With that, your field training is now complete. Congratulations, Joe. So how was it? Do you feel like you've got to hang on everything? Hang up everything? Don't worry too much if you feel like there are still things you don't know. As you take on missions, I'll be around to teach you along the way. Uh, it looks like we're ready to get started with the story. Cool. Well, that's fun, isn't it, folks? Uh, that was Advance Wars 1 Reboot Camp. Uh, we did the training missions to learn how to play the game. It seems like there's a lot of little nuanced rules that will play into whether or not we're victorious. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Make sure you come back and watch the first mission in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.